Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm really excited for this one because I'm gonna be showing you my exact cold email tech stack. I'm gonna be showing you the exact programs I use, what I use them for, how I use them, and the exact cost of not only setting those programs up, but also running them on a monthly basis as well. So you get a fully transparent view of what it takes to set up and run your own cold email automated outbound system. Now, if you've never seen me before, my name's Tom Granger. I am the founder and CEO of Marketable, and we help B2B businesses flood their sales calendar and pipeline with qualified leads that directly match their ideal client profile. It's the same way that we helped my client Dan book over 30 qualified calls in just a month and a half. We helped my client Ashley close over $17,000 worth of brand new retainers. We helped my client Marshall book 12 qualified calls in just one day. And we also helped another client Rowan close over $30,000 in brand new retainers in just over two months of working together. Okay, so let's jump into my computer right now and I'm gonna show you the exact tech stack that I use on a monthly basis, let's go. Okay, so we've dived into my computer and it's now time to show you the exact tech stack that I use. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do to set up any cold email system is to buy some domains and set up your emails. So you can use multiple different vendors for this, but I always use Google domains. It's the simplest and easiest to set up. There's Zoho, there's Microsoft, there's GoDaddy. You can buy them from multiple places, but for simplicity's sake, let's just stick with Google domains. So what you wanna do is take your main domain name and then you wanna buy secondary domains that sound like that. You can use suffixes or uh, suffixes or prefixes uh, that attach to the main company name to make them sound similar. So for example, if your name, your company name is companyname.com, then what you wanna do is add something like trycompanyname.com, democompanyname.com, gocompanyname.com, um, consult, you know, something along those lines. And then you wanna buy those domains. So I recommend if you're starting out to buy 10 brand new domains and a domain is gonna cost you $12 per domain. So the upfront cost of buying those domains is gonna cost you $120. Now, you also need a Google Workspaces account for each of those domains in order to access the email account. So to do that, you need to buy that and that's gonna cost you $6 per month. So that's gonna be a monthly running cost of $60 per month. The 120 is one time every year. So it's a once a year cost. So that's gonna cost you 120 upfront and then $60 per month to run and manage those domains. Now. You're also gonna to need to set up and warm your domains. So once you set them up, you need to warm them for at least two weeks in order for you to have the best deliverability possible so that they're landing directly into your prospect's inbox. So I use a tool called Instantly for this. And it's really fantastic because it allows you to add as many email addresses in here as possible um, as you can, as you can fit in here. Honestly, it's unlimited and you can warm them up simultaneously. So you don't need to worry about warming. You plug them into here, it warms them up. Happy days, you can do other things at the same time. Now, there's two different pricing packages here to start out with. Um, you've got the growth package, which is $37 per month and the hyper growth, which is 97. Now, I wouldn't even bother with this package because a thousand uh, uploaded contacts is just it's not enough to really see any data. So I would go with the hyper growth package, especially if you're rocking 10 domains. This gives you 25,000 uploaded contact and 125,000 emails monthly. So this will give you enough data to actually see what's working, what isn't working, is my offer working, what do I need to change? So I would go with this, this uh, package here, which is $97 per month. Now. Once you've bought the domains, you've set up the domains and they're warming, you need to go ahead and scrape some leads. So I use a tool called Sales Navigator and this allows you to, this is attached to LinkedIn, it's a LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and this allows you to search for leads and create highly granular lead lists that show the exact person that you're reaching out to. So you can search by a keyword here and you can search by a load of lead filters on the side like geography, industry, um, years of experience, company headcount, you know, seniority level, job title, and then again, you can build super granular lead lists of people that directly match your ICP. The problem with Sales Navigator is that you can't pull any data from that, as in you can't pull any uh, emails directly from that. So once you've bought Sales Navigator, which is gonna set you back $79 per month, you're gonna need some sort of tool to actually scrape the data from that. So I use a tool called Find Email, which plugs directly and natively into Sales Navigator, just like that, it'll pop up right here. And then you can click Export to Find Email, and then that will pull emails from all of the people that you've built this lead list from. So if they have their email address readily available, it'll pull it and then it'll create a CSV file of the contacts that you can reach out to, which is super, super useful. You can also organize them into different lists as well. So depending on who you're targeting, how you're targeting, you know, if you're targeting just one company or if you're targeting one industry or one niche, you can break it down and create, again, really highly granular lead lists, which you can use to reach out to people. And Find Email is gonna set you back $99 per month and that gets you 5,000 contacts to enrich and to scrape every single month. So. Once you have bought your domains, you've set them up properly and they're warming nicely and instantly, you've scraped Sales Navigator with Find Email and you've built up a lead list, then I would recommend cleaning them as well. Find Email does bring you out with verified qualified leads, but it's always good to double check. So I use a tool called Email List Validation, which you can find on AppSumo for just $59 one time fee. And this gets you 1 million email verifier credits 
which is so amazing. It's so useful, and it just you can just run a uh, you can run any lead list through it, and it will verify the emails on there and allow you to send it to the most deliverable emails possible. And this is just going to mean that you're landing in the prospect's inbox, you're not getting a high bounce rate, and you're not messing up the quality of your domains and the deliverability of your domains. So this is a really really fantastic one-time purchase. Alongside this as well, you're going to need to write some script. So I use this tool here by MailMeteor, and, and this is a spam checker. The great thing about this is this is free. So this is a completely free tool. It's not going to cost you anything. What I would do is write your script in here or write them on Google uh, Google Docs and then copy and paste them into here. And what this is going to do is flag words which um, have the potential of landing you into a spam filter. And this actually gives you an overall score, which tells you the chance really of you landing in spam. If you've got poor you've got a higher chance of landing in spam. You want to get a great score where it's green and it all looks good. And basically it pulls words here where it says, you know, for example, financial or privately owned funds, they look shady. Or we've got ASAP, which is urgency. We've got overpromise, which is a guaranteed 5% ROI. You know, it's it, it's words that look dodgy and could just trigger the spam filter. So this is a great way of um, allowing you to write your scripts and then also copy and paste them into here to see how they're looking, what the scores of them are. And it also gives you a read time as well. So the better you can make it on Mail Meteor, the better your cold email is going to be. So this is the tech stack that I use um, for myself and all my clients. And I recommend you guys get set up as well. So in total, the upfront cost of this is going to cost you $516 upfront that's the first time cost and then the monthly running cost is going to be $337 so it's actually incredibly cheap when you consider how many different softwares we're using what we're actually doing and the potential returns of running a cold email system you know the ability to fill your sales calendar with qualified leads on a daily and weekly basis and to close clients that look exactly like your ideal client profile it's an incredibly powerful tool so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Uh, also subscribe because I'm going to be dropping videos every single week on cold email, cold email outreach, cold outreach in general, sales and marketing. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, I highly recommend subscribing so you don't miss a video. Leave a comment if you like the video um, and give me some ideas in the comment section as well on things that you'd like to see in the future. It's been a pleasure recording this and I hope you guys have a really great week. Thank you so much.